All right, terrifying moments captured yesterday morning when a crane collapsed after it caught fire in Hell's Kitchen. The crash from nearly 50 stories in the sky all the way to the ground, leaving 11 people with injuries. Yeah, let's go ahead and get straight out to our Michelle Ross, who has been covering this from the beginning with more on this investigation and what things look like this morning. Michelle. Good morning, Ernie. Well, crews have been working through the overnight hours to clean up this mess that the crane collapse left behind. And there is still some debris. You can see the 180-foot uh, boom that was left behind after it made that dramatic fall almost 24 hours ago. Now it's sticking out horizontally on both ends in between the scaffolding here. 11 people were injured as a result, including two firefighters. And this part of 10th Avenue is still closed to foot and car traffic as the investigation into this collapse gets underway. Now here is video of yesterday's collapse. And the de uh, Department of Buildings has identified the crane operator, Christopher Van Dune, as the same person who was charged and fined in connection to the deadly uh, construction accident of his coworker in 2008, just one block from where we are. Are now. His license was not terminated following that incident. Instead, DOB announced he would be subjected to an eight month suspension and $25,000 fine, plus a minimum of 30 hours of department approved training. And firefighters put out yesterday's crane fire while positioned on the rooftop of a building across the street, so on the other side of 10th Avenue. They also utilized drones to get a bird's eye view to see where they needed to direct the strong stream of water, and many witnesses said the collapse felt like an earthquake. Quake. Up front of our building, all the glass, the debris, is everything is it's mangled like like Godzilla took it and just crushed it in his hand. I gotta get out the building ground floor and the steps was gladiator. It was people pulling, pushing, falling. If you fell, you got stepped on. Now that crane was almost 50 stories up in the air. You may just now be able to see the American flag flying underneath it. Now this perimeter was closed between 9th Avenue to 11th Avenue. Many streets in between were closed. We're now here at 42nd and 10th. So only a few of the blocks uh, behind me down south are closed. If you come to this area, uh, be sure that uh, to expect delays as we are near both the Lincoln Tunnel and also Port Authority. We're live on the west side. Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.